Hi and welcome to my channel, welcome to the video. I don't know whether you would have seen videos from me before or if this is the first one. I'm not really sure what order I'm uploading everything in yet, I don't know. So welcome or welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Emma and I have had a blog for the last probably seven years or so. It kind of had a whole rebranding, but a lot of the old stuff that was on there was removed and I've kind of kept a few bits and pieces from, I don't know, the last like maybe like four or five years and I'm now uploading over there as regularly as I can. I'm also really interested to learn more about what people want from my blog because I personally still love blogs. I read blogs all the time and my blog is my absolute baby. I love it. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. I know that things have transitioned quite a lot over to video content and that's actually the reason why I've started to make these videos is because a couple of the brands and companies that I have worked with um, and quite a lot of opportunities that arise require video content and it's something that I've never been comfortable with. I find it really weird but I've also always wanted to do it. I recorded YouTube videos like 12 years ago when YouTube first came out and uploaded these weird videos, mostly just gig footage and just boring things that people posted back back then because YouTube videos as they are today just weren't a thing that existed back then. And, you know, even to go as far as saying things like camera phones and having a, a, a camera with a, upon your person was quite a new thing. So... The, the footage that I filmed and the things that I posted were just not anything of interest at all. And then back when I was at uni, my friend and I really got into kind of like vlogging and trying to film bits and pieces. And I actually still have quite a lot of footage from that, just random bits and pieces. There was never anything coherent or anything put together. But we used to film quite a lot and just, again, never did anything with it. And for years and years and years with different people that I've worked with and different opportunities that have arisen through my blog, I've kind of always said, I want to do YouTube and I want to make videos, but I just haven't done it. And I don't really know what stopped me, to be honest. Maybe, I mean, every excuse under the sun, I guess you just always think you're not ready for something. You know, my house doesn't look good enough. I don't have anywhere to film. I don't have a ring light. Oh, I don't have a good camera. I don't like my hair. I want to lose weight. I want to get fitter. There's always an excuse, there's always a reason. And so many times I've heard so many people say, just do it, you just have to do it. No one's ready. It's a bit like starting a new job or having a baby or all of these things. No one's ever really ready. And it's one of those things that you just have to do. And I I know I'm gonna love it. Video is just something that I've never been this side of. And putting yourself out there is quite terrifying. I recently restarted my Instagram and kind of like building that up again and you know people out there see pictures of me and I think sometimes you can come across so differently in photos than you do when you actually speak and when you put yourself out there and I think do you know what I don't want to hide behind a still and have people guess my personality my voice I think you can tell so much about a person by the way they move and how they speak I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're in the same position as me and you're literally just starting this just do it. I'm just doing it too. And literally you have nothing to lose. Even if barely anybody watches your videos or you change your mind, then you change your mind, you delete them, but you did it and you tried. And there isn't really anything bad that can happen. If you're honest and you're nice and you're talking about something that you love and being nice, then that's that. People will love you. People will hate you. But that happens everywhere in all walks of life with anything that you're doing. Why not try it? That's what I'm doing. So I think that was just a little pep talk to myself, to be honest. But yeah, so that's why I'm here. That's what I'm doing. And I'm riping my boyfriend into it too, even though he really, really doesn't want to. <laughs> he, um, he does want to. I think, I think he does. I think he's just nervous. I think he's more nervous than I am. I'm really excited for you to join me on this journey if you want to join me. If you want to subscribe, put the little notification bell on, come back and check in head over to my Instagram and, you know, join me on this little journey. I'm really excited to see where it goes and we can figure this out together. Maybe you can give me some tips, to be honest. I think I need it. And I've only really recently started this channel because I have had a blog for quite a few years and quite recently I've had a lot of opportunities that have come up that have 
required some video style content and I have always really wanted to do YouTube and I have always really wanted to do video content but it really scares me and I've just avoided it for, for years and years and years now but I think my time has come where I just really need to embrace it and just do it and get over it. I have filmed a couple of videos already, I don't really know what order or even which videos are going to kind of make the cut. Um, but this is something that I've been meaning to film for ages. It's something that I really want to talk about. So I'm going to talk about it today. So you've probably heard of Day. They are a tampon subscription service. And I have seen so many people on social media using them, um, subscribing. And I have been subscribed myself for probably coming up to a year now. Um, it has been quite a long time. And I was subscribed to them for quite a few months before I started um, doing a few bits and pieces for them and becoming a brand ambassador. I've given them to all of my friends and just anyone who I talk to about periods, tampons, anything, I'm like, you need to try Day. So the reason why I signed up today in the first place was I... I'm really conscious that using regular pads and tampons is really bad for the environment. I had really wanted to try a moon cup or some sort of menstrual cup and was doing a lot of research online and day had come up a few times and then I was just watching YouTube one day and a video got recommended to me and someone had recently purchased um, the subscription service and it just looked so good. I went straight to their website and ordered it and I have to say I was blown away. I loved the packaging, I loved the product, I just loved everything, everything that they're about. I cannot rave about day enough. You go online and choose to sign up to the subscription service and then you can choose which tampons you want. The price depends on how many tampons you want each month and which kind of tampons you want each month. I've just done like a little test to, to see how much it would be and I think the prices start from about £11 a month um, because the minimum that you can get is 12 I've had a few months where I've had the full 12 and then a couple of months where I've skipped it because I haven't really needed any new ones. So when you first sign up, you get your introductory box, which will look a bit like this. If you have a particularly short or longer cycle, you can choose the frequency and it will tell you the date that it's due to come. And if you look online and you've either come on early or you're a bit late and you know that's going to have a knock on effect to the following month, you can just go and change the date. And quite often I'll just do that anyway. I have quite a backlog now. The first few months I did it, I maxed, I, I got the, the most amount that you could get just so that I had a good amount to test. So I haven't really needed to have a, a new delivery every month. So for the last couple of months, I've actually snoozed it and then I can choose the date when I next want it to begin again. So this is the box that you get. And when you open your box, again, amazing packaging, amazing products. You always get a couple of little cards, which I really like. You also have some information about the tampons and the packaging and just a few bits and pieces. And then you actually have your, your products. So this is what it looks like when you open it. Your tin, which I absolutely adore. And then underneath the first layer are your tampons and your little tampon bag. So this bag is great for storing around the house and for any spare tampons that you have. I have two of these bags and I just keep them either in the bathroom or in my drawer ready to then restock my tin for when I'm on the go. To be honest, the tin is kind of what swayed me to, to kind of invest in the first place because I love all things like witchy and tarot and they really reminded me of like a tarot card deck. So I can put everything that I need for that day in this tin. And then I either have that just in the bathroom if I'm at home or I can just pop it in my bag if I'm going out and about. And it's so great. And I love that if you are quite young or if you are a bit embarrassed, it's quite nice because it doesn't typically look like a box of tampons in your bag. I think it looks like a makeup palette. I just don't think people are gonna look at that and think, oh my God, that girl's got tampons in her bag. If that's something that bothers you. I'm definitely starting to think a bit more about the companies that I buy from and a good product isn't always the, the end result for me. I want to know that I'm getting a good product from a good company and that my money is being invested in the right places. They are definitely doing that. With their tampons, there is so much research that I've gone into these that you just don't find in other companies. So one of the things that shocked me the most when I started actually looking into this was the lack of research and the lack 
of protection women have when it comes to sanitary products. There is more testing and more safety regulations in plasters than there are in women's sanitary items. Tampons, which you're literally wearing inside your body, are not regulated as intensely as a plaster that you stick on your body maybe for a couple of hours. I couldn't believe that. Women have had periods since time began and we're in 2021 and there is still such a lack of understanding, a lack of research and a lack of safety. That's the thing that stressed me out the most. And I actually sat down and wrote a blog post straight away as soon as I found out all of this information. But there's so much emphasis on what we put in and on our bodies. But when it comes to women's health, there's just such a gap in literally in safety. And I, I just think that's not acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable that we expect women to be using products that aren't even fit for purpose. We don't even know if they're safe to be used. When it is something that we cannot, we cannot go without it. We get a period every month for the majority of our lives. We can't just choose not to use these things. We have no choice. I know a lot of women that that don't use tampons. And to be honest, I was one of them because of the health concerns related to them, like TSS and the sustainability, you know, every month, just waste and waste and waste. And it's it's a really horrible situation to be in because literally as a woman, you have no choice. You're going to get a period. You have to you have to manage it in some way. In terms of TSS, which is toxic shock syndrome, and probably one of the biggest things to look out for if you are a tampon user, and one of the the reasons why I kind of avoided tampons for for quite a few months, probably a year or maybe even two years. Oh, I don't know. I've had some pretty funny experiences where I definitely haven't felt quite right when I've been using tampons and using the tampons especially the tampons I was using the plastic the waste and then those risks I just didn't like it there are no EU regulations for sanitization for tampons and that is one of the main reasons why TSS is a thing because there's just it's it's not clean sanitized material what they have done to combat that issue is used pharmaceutical standard materials in their tampons and they sanitize the the working areas that they make the tampons in with gamma rays so not only are the tampons safer and made of better material but the environment that they're made in is also clean and sanitized so they can guarantee that the cotton used in their tampons is 100 percent plastic free it's certified organic the cotton is unbleached there's nothing added. I also wanted to touch on the environmental factors as well, because that's something that is hugely important to people at the moment. It's really important to me. And I think it's really important that companies are doing something about that because it's really, really difficult as a consumer to take on that burden and be trying to do something about the environmental impact when companies providing the products that we need to use aren't doing something about it themselves. They need to 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 be held accountable. All of the packaging is recyclable. The actual tampons themselves are in this packaging. It's a really interesting texture. It almost kind of feels a bit like sugar paper. And the really cool thing about this packaging is that it's actually water soluble. So when you're finished with with your tampon, you can literally take this to the sink and run it under the tap and it just disappears. It just turns into nothing. Every single time I use one of these tampons, I'm still blown away by the fact that this actually happens. Because it's completely water soluble, you can flush it down the toilet, but I I just don't like doing that. I feel like I'm still like programmed in my mind, like I need to see it disappear. I, I don't feel comfortable just putting it in the toilet and flushing it and just hoping for the best. The applicators are fully recyclable. Obviously, you want to give them a little clean because you will have used it. And then obviously, you've got your organic tampon inside the applicator, which is completely degradable. And I believe that they are actually looking at making the applicator dissolvable as well. When you go to place your order on day, you'll see that there's a few different types of tampons. They've got a regular and a super version of their naked and their CBD tampons. So there's four different tampons to choose from. So the naked tampons are your standard organic cotton, nothing in there, just tampons. And you can get the regular or the super depending on what you prefer to use. Or you can choose to get the CBD infused tampons. This was probably the thing that really tipped it for me. I was looking through the website. I was like, I love the packaging. I love the company. Oh my God, they've got a CBD tampon. I need to try this immediately. So I have used CBD oil for, for years and years and years, it totally makes sense for it to be in a period product because what happens every month, you get terrible cramps, a lot of pain. You know, there is nothing worse than being dosed up on loads of medicine and just feeling really rubbish. Obviously, it completely depends on you and your period, but 
the statistics show that over 90% of people who do get periods suffer period cramps or period pain during their period. If you're in that 10%, then you are really lucky, by the way. My periods are not fun. And I really don't like taking tablets. The CBD tampons themselves, that you can actually see it when you take the tampon out, it's infused with CBD oil. And the oil works at the source of pain. The vaginal canal actually has more cannabinoid receptors than any other part of your body. So if you want to be using CBD oil, that's the place to be using it because your body is going to be really receptive to that. And it's going to work. It's going to be far more effective than than using this oil in any other places. And it's going to be far more effective than taking a tablet that's going into your stomach and into your bloodstream. Just literally tackling the pain at the source makes so much more sense. I also just think it's really cool that they've done something unique. There's so many companies out there doing similar things or trying to tackle the same issues. And I just love that it's just something that nobody else is doing. Can't make any claims to say that using the CBD oil is going to stop your cramps or stop period pain altogether. It is to help with pain management and it is going to be helping towards relieving some of the symptoms. Um, But I can safely say from all of the reviews I've seen and from using them myself, it really does make a difference to the point where I will use a tampon and I would say probably three hours after I, I think it starts to wear off a little bit, three to four hours and I start to get really bad cramping, headache. I can just feel that it stopped working and I think, ah, I need to change my tampon. So when I when I did my first order, it must have been just at the start of COVID because I placed an order and they had an option to add a face mask, face covering for five pounds. And that money was going straight to a women's charity. I want to say it was like a women's charity in Africa or somewhere. I can't remember the exact char- charity now because obviously it was over a year ago. But I thought that was great because I needed a face mask. It was when everything was kind of first starting. I didn't have one. I thought it was really good that they were giving me the option to to do something where 100% of the proceeds were going to a charity. So I've got a few of their face masks. They have a, a couple of different colours. I don't know if they're still selling them, but if they are, definitely grab some. The bits that go behind your ears are like scrunchy material, so they're not really uncomfortable on your ears. I don't know if anyone else suffers with this problem, but my ears get so sore when I have to wear my mask for a long period of time and they always get caught on on my earrings. So I really like the day one because it is literally like a scrunchie. So it's really, really cozy, really comfortable. I feel like I've missed so much information because I can literally talk about day tampons all day, every day. I really didn't want to make this too rambly and too long. So I feel like I've kind of skimmed over a few areas so i will link to day's website and their blog because their blog is really helpful it's helpful to anyone who gets periods as well so you know it doesn't matter your age your ethnicity your gender they cover topics that span across anyone getting periods not just women which i think is really important it's really good that they kind of have a voice for everybody who has periods i will also link down below to the blog post that i wrote initially when i first started using them i think i think i'd use them for a few months um and i was kind of reviewing the information so that is probably going to be a lot more detailed than this video because i did go into a lot more detail about the science behind it and kind of all of those elements i've also done another blog post about or different period products aside from your standard tampons and pads. So many people are looking for alternatives, you know, organic reusable pads, different menstrual cups, so many different things. So if you are interested in something like that, or you don't want to go for a subscription service, but you do want to try something new, definitely do that. I'm someone who's really scared of subscription services. I hate the idea of a subscription service. I hate the idea of being trapped into something and that you have to get a certain amount every month. And I always get really scared that my card's going to be charged even when it's been cancelled. But I have to say, it's it's literally so easy. I set it up, you get your tampons on the day that you've asked for them to come. And I have spoken, obviously, back and forth quite a bit with Day. But they're so lovely. They're really easy to get hold of. If you ever have any problems, they're there to talk to. You can pause it for as long as you like. If you all of a sudden realise that you haven't scheduled your order in time, you can just go on and do it and they do come really, really quickly. It's so simple. I have never been charged when I've paused it. I have never been charged when I've pushed it back. I highly, highly recommend these tampons. I think if you're looking for an alternative solution because you have a lot of pain, because you want to be more organic, because you want to be more sustainable for 
the environment or because you just want to try something new, I think this is definitely the way to go if you have a busy lifestyle and getting things delivered to your door is easier. If you want to find out any more information, I really urge you to go to the day website. It's so great. There's so much information there. They do tons of stuff like free workshops, free talks. They know far more about this whole subject than I do. And that's kind of where I learned everything that I know anyway. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I really hope that you've learned something and that it was interesting and kind of covered, covered everything that you needed to know, maybe even answered some of your questions. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you have watched or liked or followed or anything like that, it is really massively appreciated. You know, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, support is is so lovely and massively welcomed and you know it really means a lot it, it really does mean a lot and I know from experience that every watch every like every subscribe there's a real person with you know a finite amount of time and they've chosen to spend that time engaging with you and I think that's really nice and it doesn't go unnoticed and it's really appreciated so thank you and enjoy